10 cleanup underway at a home surrounded by garbage that neighbors call the trash house. But will it be enough to help the man who lives there? Plus, the search for survivors trapped in the rubble after Taiwan's massive 7.4 earthquake. Aftershocks continue to rumble across the region. And a popular rooftop bar in downtown L.A. under fire tonight for charging a security fee. Customers say it goes too far. Now on the News at 10. And I'm Cher Talbot. We have breaking news involving one of the largest cash heists in U.S. history. $30 million stolen from a facility in Silmar. The massive burglary first reported by the L.A. Times is believed to have unfolded on Easter Sunday at the unmanned facility where cash from businesses across the area is handled and stored. Several sources tell KTLA the heist took place here at this Garda World facility in Silmar. We have reached out to the company for confirmation but have not heard back. The LA Times reports the burglars were able to breach the building as well as the safe where the money was stored. Sources tell the Times the burglary crew broke through the roof of the facility to gain access to the vault. You can see a video shot by Sky 5, a hole in the side of the facility that has been boarded up. The massive heist was not discovered until the vault was opened on Monday. It is unclear why no alarm was triggered. The FBI and the LAPD are handling the investigation but are releasing very few details. Now to this, both directions of Malibu Canyon Road are closed tonight after one person was killed when their vehicle went over a steep cliff near Pepperdine University. The CHP says the crash happened around 5.30 at Malibu Canyon Road at Pacific Coast Highway. Sky 5 was overhead and you can see how far that vehicle traveled before coming to a rest on its side. The driver was ejected and declared dead at the scene. One man saw the crash happen and scrambled down the steep slope to try and help the driver. I've seen so 